Is it true 80% of our laws are determined by the European Union? With the European elections approaching, we're going to be debunking common myths surrounding the EU and its institutions. So let's get down to the truth behind this. How much of our legislation actually comes from the European Union? It's been a lingering debate for many years now with multiple Eurosceptic and even Europhile politicians claiming the EU imposes 80% of its laws on member states. The problem is actually finding accurate and recent figures. Previous studies found the EU's influence to be significantly less, more like 20 to 25% according to studies published more than 10 years ago. One of the researchers who conducted a study about this back in 2012 maintains that although some areas are heavily regulated by the EU, the answer is not that straightforward and depends on what fields are concerned. You have areas or policy fields with a high shares of Europeanized laws. This is what we can measure. And high shares means about 50% in the area of agriculture in the area of environmental policy and in the field of economics. But we do also have areas with uh, clearly lower shares of Europeanized laws, well below 50%, for instance, in the area of work and employment, in the field of social security and inter internal security, also in health. However, according to Ton Vandenberg, a professor of EU legislative studies, a lot of the laws that have historically come from Brussels have been mostly technical, like regulating customs. He argues that it's best to focus on the quality and not on the quantity of legislation coming from the EU. Increasingly, we see also legislation that is becoming more politically sensitive. And let's think about that, the Corona Recovery Regulation, and that's a huge politically important uh, example of a legislation that has really changed the landscape of economic and monetary union. It's not just about technical regulation uh, anymore, but it's indeed about making difficult political choices and therefore it really matters who uh, is going to be elected on the European Parliament uh, the coming year. But where does this number of 80% even come from? It could be attributed to Jacques Delors, who was the former president of the European Commission from 1985 to 1995. He once said in a speech that by the year 2000, 80% of economic legislation will be of community origin. But the phrase has since then left a mark, but has been regularly repeated and also misconstrued.